So um, formally, good afternoon and welcome to the Offshore Wind Youth Action, or Oh Yeah, program launch. I'm Doreen Harris, the President and CEO of the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, or NYSERDA. Um, thank you so much for attending this webinar today and for your interest in empowering young people across New York State to learn about and become involved in our emerging offshore wind industry. This virtual event is an opportunity for us to share, oh yeah, and answer any questions you may have about implementing it in your classrooms, after school programs, museums, and more. I am extremely proud of the oh yeah program as it provides step-by-step -step instruction for young people to help them understand climate change and how New York is committed to fighting it through the utilization of innovative clean energy technologies like offshore wind. So before we move on to the details of the OEA oh yeah program, I want to highlight the important work that we are doing in our state to fight climate change and improve the health and vitality of communities all across our state. New York has the most aggressive climate and clean energy goals in the nation. And NYSERDA is focusing its efforts to ensure that disadvantaged communities including those who have been most impacted by climate change and pollution from fossil fuel consumption, receive the benefits of the clean energy transition we are undertaking now. We are also committed to advancing the most cost-effective and responsible development of our offshore wind resource. So for those who don't know, New York's goal is to develop 9,000 megawatts of offshore wind by 2035 which is enough to power 6 million homes and expected to bring 10,000 jobs to New Yorkers. And given the enormous potential that this industry holds for our future, it is crucial that our young people are aware of our state's offshore wind development plans and the many opportunities that will be available to them now and into the future. We developed OYA oh yeah as a means for young people to not only learn about, but to get involved in offshore wind and clean energy action in their communities. And in the next hour, we'll share the details of the OYA oh yeah program with you, including the different ways in which this resource can be used to engage young people on this topic at such a critical time. So thank you again for participating in this webinar. And I hope that you find this information valuable and we'll consider using it to help New York's youth learn about the burgeoning offshore wind industry and how it can make a difference in their lives and the lives of others within their communities. I am now thrilled to introduce Jana Herndon, the architect of this program and a project manager with our offshore wind team who will provide more details about the OEA program now. Over to you, Jana. Thanks very much for kicking us off, Doreen. And a special thank you to all of the attendees who have joined this webinar today. Thank you to those who have introduced yourself via the chat. Um, our goal today is to provide you with a thorough understanding of this new OEA program and how you can utilize it in your work with young people. We will have time at the end of the presentation to answer your questions. So please submit your questions through the Q&A function on Zoom throughout the event and we'll be sure to address them. I'll begin with what is NYSERDA's Offshore Wind Youth Action Program or OYA? Oh yeah. OYA oh yeah is a series of three interactive lessons that engage middle and high school age students in the transformative world of offshore wind. OYA oh yeah is available for download for free on NYSERDA's website so you can explore the lessons digitally or print them out as needed. OYA oh yeah combines two topics critical to our time, offshore wind and climate justice. In creating this program, we wanted to make clear the connections between renewable energy development and environmental and climate justice, which is a critical part of New York's just transition to clean energy. OYA oh yeah provides young people with knowledge to understand the science and mechanics behind offshore wind, and at the same time, asks them to connect renewable energy to climate justice in their own communities. The program is comprised of three lessons, each focused on a different theme. 
The lessons begin with background information about broad concepts like renewable energy and climate change and work through unique activities that reinforce key concepts and engage young people in real world examples. The lessons also contain clickable links for videos and additional resources that reinforce the concepts provided in the text. Lesson one begins with an overview of clean energy and climate change, then delves into offshore wind, what it is, how it works, and how it's being developed in New York State. During this lesson, students get to know their OYA peers through activities and social media prompts, learn about the impacts of climate change and consider how those impacts are seen and felt in their neighborhoods and quiz one another on their clean energy knowledge. They also spend time considering the many players involved in offshore wind development and practice negotiating a new development from the perspective of diverse stakeholders. Lesson two explores the ways in which offshore wind will interact with different communities across New York State. First, we follow the creation of an offshore wind farm from planning to operation, highlighting different types of port facilities. Then we dive into the concepts of a just transition and climate justice, providing historical context about the environmental justice movement, along with local examples of environmental and climate justice issues impacting New York communities. During lesson two, students create a flyer about the benefits that clean energy development might bring to their communities. Using, they use an online mapping tool to explore environmental hazards across New York State. And they also conduct research into the latest offshore wind news. Through each of these experiences, they connect the dots between a clean energy transition and opportunities for their neighborhood. OYA oh yeah wraps up by providing pathways for further engagement. We offer entry points for young people with varied interests to continue their exploration of offshore wind, clean energy, and climate justice, whether that's through civic engagement, starting a club at their school, or pursuing higher education and workforce training. OYA shows students that everyone can play a role in New York's clean energy transition. For students considering a future career in the industry, OYA spotlights real professionals working in the offshore wind industry. Students also learn about seven career fields they could pursue, including manufacturing and construction, law and policy, and science and engineering. The activities in lesson three are action oriented, prompting students to write to their representatives, create a meeting agenda for an after school club, and develop a personal roadmap for future climate and clean energy action. In developing OYA, my team engaged a group of high school and middle school students to test how the program resonated with our target audiences. Here are examples of what our participants said about climate change, clean energy, and education. My friends are interested in environmental justice. We want to know more about what actionable steps we can take to do something about it. Climate change is important to me. We want to know what we can do to help because it's our future. We glaze over the topic of renewable energy in school. I could see my technology after school club doing oh yeah. In general, we heard great interest in learning more about these topics in school classrooms, after school programs and more. Students expressed equal interest in the technology and equity and justice components of OYA. And they also liked the creative options lesson three presented for young people to get involved in offshore wind. Importantly, OYA concludes with a certificate of completion and the students reacted positively to the ability to put OYA on their college and professional resumes. We also heard about the importance of social media to engage and inspire young people. OYA oh yeah, includes prompts throughout where participants can use social media to enhance their learning and connect with peers. For example, participants can create a meme to introduce their OYA oh yeah cohort to others across the state. They can share offshore wind facts on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, or they can follow the accounts of climate justice leaders and organizations. Now that I've described what OYA oh yeah is, I'll talk about the ways in which it can be implemented to reach young people across New York State. 
OYA is designed to be accessible to a wide audience classroom teachers, club leaders, extracurricular educators, and internship program managers can implement OYA to fit the unique needs of their groups. OYA is available again for free on NYSERDA's website. So this means young people can also access the materials on their own as well. OYA is ideally used as a series of lessons as the concepts build on one another. However, specific activities can also be used for one-time workshops. Science or social studies teachers or after school clubs or internship programs might choose to dedicate weeks to the full OYA program. While museums or nature centers who see students for one-time field trips can extract different portions and activities from the program to fit within their time constraints. We are excited about the ways that OYA can be incorporated into middle and high school social studies and science classrooms around the state. We've created a separate educator guide to support teachers who want to implement OYA. The guide breaks down each lesson, providing an overview of its essential questions, the activities involved, and their pacing. It also details how OYA aligns with the New York State Department of Education social studies standards and science standards to help teachers integrate the OEM materials into their lesson plans. So here is one example of an OEM activity that we think works equally well as part of the entire program or as a standalone segment for a one-time experience. In lesson one, OEM students participate in an activity about marine spatial planning, which we describe as the participant process used to plan ocean activities in a given region, and in this case, select sites for offshore wind development. To do this activity, students first read about marine spatial planning, what it is, how it works, and the key players involved. Then each student gets assigned a specific character and is provided with a description of that character's needs and concerns about offshore wind. The students assume the role of their offshore wind stakeholder, such as marine biologist or offshore wind developer and split into groups to negotiate where in the ocean an offshore wind farm should be sited. We provide maps of real ocean data, such as marine mammal abundance and important fishing sites to illustrate the different uses of the ocean and the complexity of planning for offshore wind. This activity not only teaches students about the planning process behind offshore wind site selection, but it also enables students to practice skills in negotiation and collaboration, offering a real world example of environmental decision making. Many of our activities are like this, intended to provide crucial information about offshore wind development while giving students the opportunity to practice cross-disciplinary skills like research, public speaking, and critical thinking. By creating OYA, we aim to engage a wide range of young people, community-based organizations, and schools in offshore wind education. During one interview with an educator during the development of OYA, we heard that there is a tremendous need for and interest in clean energy educational resources. So we'd love to hear from you now. Um, how will you use OYA? We ask that you please fill out the poll that is about to pop up on your screen. And if you do select the other option, we'd love to hear more. So please share your thoughts in the chat. And I'll allow you know, a few minutes for folks to please submit your responses. And as, as you do submit uh, your responses to the poll, also feel free to add your questions to the Q&A function in Zoom. I'll be moving on to those questions very shortly. I see that some folks might be having trouble seeing the poll. Um, so feel free to submit your answer in the chat as to how you think you might use oh yeah, what type of venue you might use it to engage young people.
Great. We'll have a few more minutes on the poll. And it looks like lots of folks have submitted their answers already. So um, it's good to see a spread ac across the answers, um, including you know, possibilities for going through the full OEA program um, over the course of a few weeks or um, those sort of one-time interactions with students um, to, to fit within their time constraints. So it's, it's so good to see a, a variety of, of folks joining us on the webinar today. So thank you for participating in that poll. Um, and now I'd like to take some time to answer any questions that you have now that I've gone through the basics of the OEA program. Um, so as I mentioned, if you haven't already, please submit your questions through the Q&A function. Um, and Ali Sutherland Brown with CARP Strategies, who supported NYSERDA on this project, will now go through your questions uh, that you have submitted through the Q&A function. Ali? Thanks so much, Jana. Um, thanks to both you and Doreen for that wonderful presentation. Um, we have a, a, a bunch of time now to answer your questions. And so again, I only see two um, that have come through the Q&A so far. Um, I encourage everybody to, um, to submit some more, um, but I will start with the two that we have up. And Jenna, I think you may have answered these, but always good to make sure people are clear on this information. So I have two questions from Anna. The first one being, what age group of young people is the OEI program targeting? Thank you for that question. So we've designed OYA with middle and high school aged students in mind. So that's a pretty big range, you know, sixth grade through 12th grade. Um, and I think it all depends on where the students are starting from. So we've designed the materials so that they really do cover all of the basics, starting from what is climate change, what is renewable energy. Um, but we think that the materials are flexible enough and adaptive enough that if students are already familiar with that content, they can sort of breeze through it as a reminder and then move on to the more specific offshore wind focused sections. And then for those students who are brand new to those concepts, as I mentioned, we've also included clickable links and additional resources within the materials that help to reinforce those concepts. So for example, there are a few links to some YouTube videos designed specifically for kids that help to explain the concepts, concepts of climate change, the difference between weather and climate, what's the deal with fossil fuels, things like that, um, so that we're keeping the materials um, concise while also providing those additional resources that some students might need. Thanks so much, Jenna. Um, I do see one message in the chat that somebody is having, um, David is having trouble accessing the Q&A function. Um, David, please do just put your question in the chat and I'll just make sure to monitor both and certainly we will, we will get to your question um, in either venue. Um, we have a couple of questions uh, about the accessibility of this material. Number one, sort of where, where can we find this material um, after the webinar? And then number two, a question from Felicia, are the materials, you know, in, oh yeah, virtual learning friendly? Thank you for those questions. So actually, if we advance to the next slide, just to have the URL up on the screen, um, the materials are all available on NYSERDA's website. And here's a shortcut to the exact web page, nysertanygovernor slash O-W-Y-A or oh yeah. And you'll see that we have the full oh yeah lessons as it's one downloadable PDF, all three lessons and activity materials are included in there. And then we also have a separate educator guide, as I mentioned, that um, breaks down the lessons. It gives an overview, um, looks at the activities, sort of a snapshot of the activities and the pacing of the activities, as well as taking a look at how OYA aligns with the New York State DOE social studies standards and science standards for both middle and high school. So that was the first question. And I think this, what was the second part of the question, Allie? Yeah, the, the second part of the question was, are the OYA materials themselves sort of virtual learning friendly? Absolutely, they are. Um, so thank you for that question. Um, so as I mentioned, we've designed the materials to speak directly to young people and they can access them themselves. So 
there's no there's no step between an educator receiving the materials and then having to provide a portion of them to young people. Um, young people can download them themselves and then it just speaks directly to them. Um, and as I mentioned, there are clickable links in the OYAP program. So if anything, it does lend itself to a digital format. Um, we also have social media prompts incorporated in there. So knowing how engaged young people are in social media, it also sort of lends itself to a digital format. That being said, um, if there is a desire to print any portion of it um, or any portion of specific activities, um, you know, that's, that's also easily done from, from a PDF format. But, you know, we certainly had virtual learning in mind, um, you know, specifically as we were all sort of navigating virtual learning during um, COVID-19, um, we, we wanted these materials to be accessible to students learning on their own or, or in a classroom with other peers. Great, thanks Jenna. I have a question from um, Natasha. As a high school student, how do I tell my school to use OYA oh yeah for science classes or for an after school program? Well, thanks for joining us, Natasha. And I'm so glad that you're excited about the OYA oh yeah program. I'd say pick out a teacher that you think would be interested in this, um, whether that's a teacher um, in a classroom or who runs an after school club. Um, and I'd say bring the materials to them and say that this is something that you're interested in and you'd really like to engage in together with your classmates. Um, we do think that this is a really valuable program to integrate into classrooms. But I also will say that if there's if your teachers are unable to integrate um, the materials at this point, um, this is a really great initiative to take on um, for an after school club, even just led by students. Um, as we mentioned, there's a certificate of completion at the end of OYA, um, which is a great thing to put on your resume, whether that's for college or a professional resume. So certainly you can go through the OYA program independently, or you can get together with a group of other young people, a group of friends, um, and go through OYA together. There's really no need to have to wait for a teacher to um, introduce you to the materials. And we always appreciate um, enthusiasm from young people interested in learning about renewable energy. Thanks, Jenna. Oh, and Natasha saying thank you in the chat. Um, Natasha, thank you for your question. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna go in chronological order here because we're, we're getting in tons of questions, which is wonderful. Um, another question from Anna, is there any opportunity for students to engage in real world applications you know, of offshore wind through the OEA program? So that's a great question. And when I think about real world application, I think about a few things. One is that we do have some activities built into the OYAP program that are meant to be real world applications, um, such as writing to their elected officials, um, creating flyers within their own community to educate um, community members about how offshore wind will bring benefits to their community. Um, so there are activities built into the OYAP program to sort of prompt them those first steps of getting engaged. Um, and then lesson three is all about taking it a step further and um, ways that they can take what they've learned into the real world um, and, and get more involved in offshore wind and clean energy development. Um, I also just wanna mention that we'll have a poll at the end that also asks about how we can, nice, we at NYSERDA can help you to implement the OEA program. And certainly when it comes to a real world application, um, we're absolutely happy to talk to students more about that. Um, and I know that there's a number of folks on, on the webinar right now who, and I see Port of Albany right there, um, who are working with young people to sort of connect them with that real world application. Um, so I think the OYA oh yeah network in general will be a great resource for that purpose. Thanks. Okay, next question is from Rebecca. Um, is there any funding support available for organizations interested in offering OYA? Oh yeah? Thank you for that question. I'll remind everyone that OYA oh yeah is free. 
it's completely free on NYSERDA's website. Um, so we don't have any specific funding support because it won't cost you anything. Um, our activity materials are attached to the OYA program. So um, there's, there's no costs associated with, with implementing OYA. Great. A question from Deborah um, and Jenna, knowing you're, you know, this is a New York state program. Can this program be adapted for other states? I think that's a great question. And while our program does have a New York focus, we do talk specifically about um, different port facilities that are set to be used in New York. And we talk about New York's clean energy goals. I absolutely hope that this can be adapted for other states. And there are certainly are sections of OYA that already are um, applicable to other states. So I really encourage you to dig into the materials and pick and choose um, which pieces can already be applied in other states. And I think you could, you could sort of easily adapt those sections which we've highlighted for New York um, as they apply to other states. You know, specifically when I think about our, our portions on climate justice and the examples that we give of a history of environmental justice, um, all of that can be adapted to, to other locations as well. Great. Okay, I, have, I see two more questions in the in the Q&A function for now, so please keep them coming if you've got them. The next question is from David. Is CARP Strategies or NYSERDA planning a roadshow to educators to review the modules and program? And Jana, I think you already started to address this in regard to the last poll that we'll put up. Yes, so thank you for that question. I will say that we're not planning a roadshow because we do think that the materials themselves um, provide you with pretty much everything you need to get rolling with OYA, um, as well as the educator guide. However, um, we want to be there to support your implementation. So um, should you um, have a desire for NYSERDA to visit your program or your classroom or, or whatever venue you have for engaging with young people, um, please feel free to reach out to us. And um, our, our email address, which I'm going to put in the chat right now, so everyone has it, is offshorewind at nyserta.ny.gov. And that is your direct line to the offshore wind team. And we would be more than happy to, um, to coordinate with you. Great. Okay, one final question in the Q&A right now. Um, another question from Felicia. Would this need to be approved by superintendents and principals? Thank you, Felicia, for that question. So I think that um, the teachers probably know this better than I do, but it's, from what I've learned during our OYA development process, um, we've learned that curricula are approved locally so in that sense, yes, I believe they would have to be approved by your district. Um, but I fear that I'm not actually the best person to answer that question. So if there are teachers on the webinar who have a more thorough understanding of how curricula are approved, I encourage you to type into the chat. But our, the, the objective of our educator guide is to sort of highlight how OYA aligns with the New York State DOE educational standards and performance expectations um, so that it makes it easier to integrate into the classroom. So by no means is OYA going to check all of the boxes necessary for any one um, you know, performance expectation or any one topic um, within the science standard. You know, we, we fall short of, uh, of doing a conduction coil and, and some of those things that are that are required. But I, I think that there's um, that that OEA would provide a really great complement um, to, to some of those lessons. Great. And John is saying it could be beneficial to bring this program to the attention of school administrators and leadership during like a board of education meeting. So that seems like a piece of advice from an expert. Um, okay, we have a follow up from Caitlin. Do you have a one page flyer to share, you know, that, that people could share with their administrators to sort of sell it and make this easier for teachers to use? 
that's a great suggestion. Um, we don't have that. So thank you for that suggestion. We will um, record that and see if we can follow up with that. Great. We don't have any more questions in the Q&A right now. I'll give everybody another few minutes to put their thinking caps on. And Jenna, in the meantime, I will ask you, um, what is your favorite what is your favorite part of OYA? You've been working on this for so many months. Oh. Now. <laughs> uh, what a great question. Wow. Um, let's see. I think my favorite part of OYA is lesson three, which really takes it the next step to how to engage young people long term in their clean energy future. And I just love the variety of options that we provide because you're going to have students who are sort of starting from square one in understanding what is climate change. And for them, the next step could be simply bringing OYA to the dinner table and telling their family what they learned about offshore wind and what benefits are coming to their communities. And then you might have students who are already super engaged and really passionate about clean energy or about environmental protection. And there are steps for them as well to take them the next step forward in their clean energy journey. So I really love the roadmap activity that we have, really help students to identify where they're at, at a baseline, what their goals are, and then help them find pathways to achieve that goal. Great, thank you. Okay, we have another question coming in from Caitlin. Um, who was part of the development team of the lessons besides NYSERDA? Any educators? Um, and does this tie to New York State student learning standards? So thank you for that question. Um, yes, actually, there were educators who helped us to shape the OEA program. Um, we kicked off OEA with a listening session webinar with several panelists to work at the intersection of um, environmental justice and clean energy education with young people. And that webinar is actually recorded and it's available on NYSERDA's YouTube channel. And there's also a link to it on the OEA webpage itself. So not only was that panel um, informative, but you know we did follow up with, with those specific panelists as well as other educators um, from all over the state to sort of get their input and get their feedback on the way that OEA was designed the content that we had included in there um, and the ways that we're making it accessible to educators and young people. So yes, we did have a variety of perspectives um, in order to inform OYA. Oh, yeah. And sorry, what was the last part of the question, Allie? Oh, um, it was, who was part of the development? Any educators, which you just spoke to? And then does this tie to New York State uh, student learning standards? Yes. So in our in our educator guide, um, we've sort of laid out how lessons one, two, and three align with the New York State um, both social studies and science uh, performance expectations um, as part of the you know the educational learning standards for both middle school and high school. So that's also available for download on our website. I see a question in the chat from Oriana and uh, Michaela, who's advancing the slides. Uh, this is for you, actually. Oriana's asking, could you please show the earlier slide with the Venn diagram again? And as Michaela's going there, um, Oriana, did you just want to see it or do you have a specific question about it? If so, please, uh, please shout in the chat or in the Q&A. If not, we can just leave this up for a moment. Just to see it again. Okay, great. Um, well, Jenna, then I think a final question for me, unless any others come in, um, are there, is there any uh, sort of material or any other things that you want to share? Do you feel like, was there anything you didn't get asked that you wanted to make sure you, you know, have an opportunity to reemphasize? Um, well, I just want to emphasize how grateful I am for everyone for attending this webinar. Um, you know, we at NYSERDA are really eager to assist you in implementing the OEA program in whatever venue that might be. Um, and as I said, we're going to put up a poll here in just a few minutes to get your feedback on that. But I really would encourage you to please don't hesitate to reach out to us at that email address that I put in the chat, um, which again is offshorewind at nyserta.ny.gov. Um, we really want to make this as useful to you as possible um, and appreciate any suggestions you have for how to make that an easier transition. So 
Um, we're looking for any suggestions you have as to um, unique ways to implement this that we perhaps haven't thought about before. And we, we also would, would love to engage with you as you go through OEA. Oh yeah. um, so as we said, there are social media prompts for students as they go through to create a sort of OEA oh yeah network online. Um, but you know, we'd also love to be um, kept apprised of your progress. So feel free to tag us in your social media posts and connect with us if you have any questions as you go through the program. Great. It looks like Deborah submitted one last question. It's not popping up so far in my uh, Q&A. So we'll just give that a second. And Deborah, please do type it in the chat if, uh, oh, that's what it was. We're students a part of the design team. So thanks for that, Deborah. Um, let me say in all honesty that students were not part of the design team. However, we did have a focus group of students who provided essential feedback on the design and the content and the, the emphasis that we placed on each topic. So we were sure to get student feedback, um, but we did not have a student-led design team. Okay, and another question coming into the Q&A from Caitlin. Is this current presentation, the PowerPoint, available for us to use to provide an overview to others? Yes, um, we're also recording this webinar. So both the recording and the presentation will be posted on NYSERDA's website. And I'll be sure to have it posted on that very same OYA oh yeah webpage. I'd say you can expect that in about a week, maybe a little longer. Okay, no more questions on this end. So Jenna, I'll hand it back over to you. Great, thanks very much, Allie, for facilitating that. And thank you so much to everyone for joining us today for the launch of the OYA oh yeah program. Um, we're gonna be following up with all of you um, via email shortly. Um, and with a reminder of the OYA oh yeah website where you can access and download the program for free. Um, NYSERDA is very happy to be a resource for you as you undertake OYA. Oh yeah. So as I mentioned, we would love to hear your feedback or any questions that you may have as you implement the program. Um, so we'll end today with this poll, which I see folks are already participating in, so thank you. Um, please tell us how we can support you to implement OYA. Oh yeah. And if you've clicked other, we'd love to hear from you in the chat. And of course, we will be saving this chat and looking back through your responses. So thank you to everyone who's already submitted their suggestions. I saw quite a few come through. We'll just give it a few moments so folks can participate in the poll. So it seems like we already have a spread across the different options as well as some other responses. So. It's great to know, thank you. And I, I would encourage you that if, if you have um, selected any of these options um, and would like NYSERDA support, please do email us, please do reach out and we'll look forward to coordinating with you. So thanks to everyone who participated in that poll. Um, we hope that you enjoyed learning about offshore wind in New York and about the OEA program, and please continue to stay engaged with us. Thanks again, and have a great afternoon.